it is straight up and down that time here on Sell Like a Woman, and we have got a super special guest for you today. The number one question, or one of the number one questions that I am asked all the time is, how are you a mama and run a seven-figure business? And let me tell you something. I have shared with y'all the ins and outs of how hard this is. I mean, some days we don't have on, or I don't have on clean underwear. Some days I don't have on underwear because nobody's done the laundry, you know? And so I thought, who better than to give you and your kiddos a perspective about ways that we can improve for all of us working mamas doing the two-step backwards in high heels in our Jimmy Choo's than Hallianna. Hallianna is my daughter. Welcome to the show, Hallianna. Hi. So, Hallianna, tell everybody how old you are. I'm nine. I turned nine two days ago. Two days ago. What's the hardest part about being a daughter of somebody who is doing this entrepreneurship experiment? The hardest part is probably some nights you have to work late and some nights you get off early. And so sometimes you have to expect things, well, you don't, you don't know what's going to happen. So you just have to kind of go with whatever um, you throw at me. Uh, yeah, fantastic. So I'll give you a prime example. We're here in New York City. We're filming videos for sales school today. And we couldn't get in the, in the, the space on time. And everything ran late. Uh, traffic in New York was terrible. And for those of you laughing at me, no, I'm not an idiot. I know Manhattan traffic is bad, but it was worse than normal today. And so it's two o'clock and Hallie Anna's sitting over here with me. She's like, I'm hungry. I'm like, I know, I'm so sorry. So rolling with it, just roll with it. All right, that's, that's tip number one, moms. Maybe our kiddos can, can just roll with it. But what can we do to help you roll with it? So like today when something went wrong and you were hungry and you were here and you were watching mommy film all these videos about selling, which probably isn't super sexy, super important to you, what, what can we do, to do when, when we're in that situation to help you out? Um, I don't know, because I know you have to do this for your job and sometimes you can't really say, okay, let's cut this here, we'll finish this up tomorrow. So I guess what kind of helps is knowing that you'll be done at a certain time, even though like you have to just go with it. But like just to know that, you know, I'll get some time with you, I'll get some time with dad, or just to kind of be in the same room with you is kind of helping out. Good deal. So tip number two is Let's give them a schedule and stick to it. And I'm guilty of this, y'all. Oh, just one more video. Oh, just one more email. Oh, just one more, just one more, just one more. And I, no joke, Hallianna got a cell phone this year for her birthday and she sent me a text message that said, I miss you and had all these like not, non, non smiley faces, frowny faces and my, emojis. yeah, emojis, that's the word, yeah. <laughs> Nine year old teaching the 40 year old, that's how we roll. And it broke my heart. So I think one of the things that you can do for us is just remind us and tell us. Like I love that just rolling with it is, is, a, is a good tip, but also just reminding us and saying, hey, I need, I need some private time with you. I need some one-on-one -on -one time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Tip number one is just roll with it. So for you kiddos watching out there, just roll with it. For your mamas out there, for all these working mamas doing the two-step backwards in our Jimmy, two, Jimmy Choo's. Uh, the solution would be create some boundaries, create a timeline, and stick with it. Helena, what is the best part of having a mama who, you know, well, whatever it is I do? What's the best part about that? The best part is probably that you own it. So even though, like, if something's hard and or if I'm sick or if there's something we have to leave, um, I know that you, like, don't always have to work exactly. Yeah. So just because, like, you can change stuff when you need to. I don't have a boss, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is the best part. I'm not gonna lie. When Hallie, if Hallie needs me, 
God forbid, you know, if she needs me, I can move around my schedule. Absolutely. I think that that's absolutely the best part. Although, we do get to do some pretty cool things. Like, we're here in New York City. Yeah. Right? What did yeah. we do last night? Tell everybody what we did last night. Hamilton. Oh, yeah, baby. Box seats for Hamilton. Should we, should we show them? What do you mean? Should we do a little rap? No. No? No? So, true story. Hamilton. We're Broadway. We love Broadway in our home. And so... Um, I read the book, Hamilton, and then we started listening to the play, or maybe we started listening to the play first, and I read the book, it doesn't matter. But there is, in Hamilton, the fastest line in musical theater history ever is in Hamilton. And so Hallianna learns it. She, like, just, oh, wait, what? I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going to be outdone. So I started trying to learn it, I started trying to learn it, and I'm telling you what, like, she must have some skills somewhere in her bloodline that didn't get passed that I didn't get because rapping is not my thing. As much as I like to try, I'm not too good at it. And so she's like, no, mommy, no, mommy. And then she said, you missed the word sir. And putting that sir in front of the line made me be able to say it. It's the craziest thing. But I really think you should give them a preview. What, okay, what part am I going to do? You tell me. What do you want to do? I'm taking this horse by the reins from your red coat, you with blood stains. Lafayette! And I'm going to stumble and jump, but now I'm scared of the remains of. Lafayette! Watch me engage in an escape and an rage, and ow, I got a friend from more funds. I come back with more guns. And ships! And, and so the balance shifts. We, we rendezvous run. with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. We, we can, can end this war in Yorktown, cut them off at sea, but. For this to succeed, there's someone else we need. Hamilton. So you're all gonna do in a trace of food and fruit with a French bean. Hamilton. So you're gonna have to muse eventually. What's it gonna do on the bench with me? Hamilton. You no know one has more the answer much of my practical tactical brands. Hamilton. You wanna fight for your land back? Get your right hand man back. Now that's pretty cool, right? To be able to go see Hamilton on a work trip. I mean First Broadway show. First Broadway show and tell them where we're going tonight. The Phantom of the Opera. The Phantom of the Opera. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't roll really, really all that it. for you. No. Okay. So then, Helena, what? So, for those of you who don't know my story, I was a drug rep. I pushed drugs for a long time, the legal kind. I was a top top performing uh, pharmaceutical sales rep for years, and I left that job. After I had Helena, she was uh, three years old, I believe, maybe two, and I was rocking her to sleep one night. And every night, I tell her the same thing. You can be anything you want to be in this world. All you have to do is believe. And I realize that, you know, she's two or three, and right now that all sounds beautiful. But one day, this, this beautiful little girl is going to grow up, and she's going to say, Mommy, was your dream to be a drug rep? And I was going to have to have a really hard conversation with her that, no, I gave up on my dream. So it was 30 six, 37, 38 years old. No, no, I was, I was 35 years old and pushing drugs, really successful at it and realized I want more. I want more for my life. I want more for her life. There are plenty of examples all over this world of people following a dream. But if her, she can't see her mama following her dream, who is she gonna believe? So I burst through our, our bedroom doors and I said to my husband, I am living a lie. And I know you're not going to be shocked by this, but he didn't even look up from the TV, y'all. Like, I'd had this epiphany, and he's so used to my drama, he did not even look up from the TV. And I was like, no, 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 Blake. You need to pay attention, because this is a line in the sand. It is a rite of passage. And I tell this baby girl every night, she can be anything she wants to do. All she has to do is believe. And I am lying to her because I'm not doing the same in my life. And so I'm going on a mission to figure it out. And oh, has it been. Has it been one big entrepreneur experiment from there? I mean, talking about crying in the bathroom floor broke as a joke. But that's a story for another time. And highs beyond the highest highs. But the whole reason I did this was so she could see that it's never, you're never too old to follow a dream. You're never too old to make your dreams come true. So howling Anna. What do you think about, what's your dream? What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, Broadway actress. Broadway star. Great, Broadway actress. And so, do you believe that's possible? Yeah. I want to start working on it as soon as possible. And why do you believe that's possible? Well, one, you just have to believe. 
two, we live in a really good area for starting out for stuff like that. Um, going to a school that's based on the arts and stuff like that. But um, I like there's a lot of things that anyone could be, and I don't really know when, but. One day I decided I wanted to be an actress. My opinion hasn't changed since then. Yeah, you kind of like your mama. You always knew what you wanted to do. So what's interesting is how to make a dream come true. Lessons from a nine-year-old. Number one, believe. Number two, get in an area where you're going to be immersed with the skills that you need to make it successful. Number three, do it. So today here, filming Sell Like a Woman, the TV show, we have an amazing crew. One of those amazing, amazing members graduated from film school. And I said, I said, will you tell Hallianna, or from acting school. And I said, tell Hallianna how to be, how to be a successful actor or actress. And the first thing he said was, be yourself. The next thing he said was, get trained. And that, my dear, is the recipe for anything. Believe, 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 and then get the skills you need to pay the bills, whether that's marketing or selling or singing or acting or whatever it is you need. Get the skills to pay the bills. Helena, if you could talk to the kids out there whose mamas are, are, are given everything they've got to follow in a dream and they haven't quite, mm, well, maybe they have made it, maybe they haven't made their business work yet. What would you say to the kids who see their mamas working so hard to follow this dream? What advice would you give kids? Even though that your mom or dad or whoever you live with is working and they're not giving their undivided attention to you or they're not always paying attention, they're trying. Um, but somewhere in that schedule they're trying to make time for you and that if you want to do something while your mom or dad or whoever you live with is hooked up with something else, you can either wait for them to get done or you can start looking up things to maybe help you start out but they love you, no matter what. That's true. We do, don't we, kiddo? I love you so much. I love you. I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Sell Like a Woman. I believe in you and I believe in your business. I know this is hard, but it is so worth it. Let's go.